she just stands by the stairs and calls for him whenever he goes to work. Hello, bye bye. Bye bye. Whenever my husband plays piano, she has her special kind of headbang that she does. She knows that this is him playing and not just any song. And she never did that with me. So it was like this special move that she only keeps for him. She considers him her mate. It's like they're <laughs> lovers. Hey, bye -bye. The first time she sat on his chest, she tilted her head like, give me scratches. And I felt how empty her life was before we had her. Hello, Popeye. It was during quarantine and I wanted to see if we can fit a cockatoo into our family. And I saw Popeye's profile on a shelter called Birdline. So the profile was there for at least a year and a half. I was wondering like why has no one gotten Popeye yet? Because she seemed so sweet. So we set a meeting and we just instantly connected. Her previous owner kept her in an emergency place in order to travel. And it was supposed to be only two weeks, but after about a month, no one picked her up. Then after that, she was transferred to the Birdline shelter, which she waited for her future owner being us. <laughs> Cockatoos like to get around the house and know the house a little bit more. And sometimes it takes a while. But for Papa, it only took two days. And what was so funny is that she instantly created a bond with my husband. She just sits on his chest for a long time because she has some sort of a separation anxiety. She just loves spending time with him. So whatever activity that I am gonna do with her, it's gonna take twice as much energy compared to my husband. Because Popeye was really alone in the shelter. She needed someone to love. So I just wanna remind everyone that adopt, don't shop because when an animal that has already loved someone else starts loving you, I can't tell you what joy it has.